In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve gamma correction in Maya. Now, I'm not actually going to explain gamma correction. There are some great articles on Wikipedia and many other websites regarding it. I'm just going to be showing you how to assign it in Maya. Now, say you're rendering with Maya software. The quickest way to assign gamma correction would be go down to color slash compositing tab. It's in the render settings window under Maya software and you'll see this little value called gamma correction. And the correct value should be 2.2. Click close and render. So that's the way of doing it in Maya software. Now Mentoray, you have actually two different options that I know of. I'm sure someone could probably make another one. Now in Mentoray, roll down to the frame buffer and then primary frame buffer. This is once again in the render settings and set the gamma value to not 2.2 but 0 0.455 which is its negative or the opposite function. The reason for this is I really don't know. It's just one of those mentorate quarks. It does the exact opposite. So the opposite of in this case 4.55 would be 2.2. Now that that's rendered, you can see that it's about yields the about the same results as my software does with gamma correction. But in Mentoray, there's another way of doing it. I'm going to set this back to one and show you the alternative way. Go to View, select Camera, and open up your camera in the Attributes Editor. Now in the Attributes Editor, go to the Mentoray tab of uh, the Shape node of your camera. And for lens shaders, we're going to want to apply a new one, so simply click on the checkerboard beside it. Or, you go down to lens shaders and click create. Either way, it does the same thing. And under the mentoray tab of the create mentoray node, I mean the create render node window, we want to click the MIA exposure symbol. That's the lens we want to create, and by default, it will already come with a gamma preset for you to 2.2. It's not backwards like the one in the frame buffer. And once again it yields about the same results. Now the only difference is in Mentoray the frame buffer gamma will automatically correct for textures. Once again I'm not going to explain that but roughly it means you see when you have a texture in Adobe Photoshop say a sky background and about 90% of the time probably more than that it will look just fine to you because it's already been gamma corrected. Now the problem is when you take it to Maya and then gamma correct your rendering it will be of gamma corrected twice and that means it'll be overexposed or look overexposed or too dark in some areas. That's normally not what you want. So what you would have to do is ungamma correct it in a program. You can actually do that in Maya or Adobe Photoshop and then save the image and send it back to Maya to be rendered and when it adds a gamma correction it will be adding it once. But the problem is that takes a lot of time if you have many textures in your scene. So the advantage of using the frame buffer technique Mentoray will automatically exclude textures from being gamma corrected. So that's about it and thanks for watching this tutorial.